are you, pal? <laughs> what is up there, guys? Ed the Wiz back at it again for another video, of course, in regards to Kingdom Hearts. In case you haven't heard the news, I'm pretty darn excited, and here it is. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and Kingdom Hearts 2.5 will be coming to the PlayStation 4 all the games together in one single disc. And that is super exciting for a ton of reasons and what we're going to be going about is the details, all that stuff right here, right now. So, come on, pal. Let's get started. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, boom. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and Kingdom Hearts 2.5 all coming to the PS4. That's awesome. What's really awesome about it is that it has been confirmed that these two games will be running at 60 frames per second. And I don't know if you realize that, what that means, basically the game is going to be running super, super smooth. All the other Kingdom Hearts games prior to this were always three, uh, like, yeah, 360, what is it? Yeah, like 360 frames per second, um, which basically means that it's, it, it did kind of have like some laggish to it, some frame rates kind of drop when crazy stuff happened. It was nothing that, nothing that there was too crazy in Kingdom Hearts that I ever really noticed, but running at 60 frames per second is super clean, super smooth gameplay. It's going to be awesome. We did see some samples of that with uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D coming out in uh, the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 game in January, and basically your games are going to be running super smooth, which is incredibly awesome. I can't wait for that. And this is a perfect opportunity for them to like, you know, fix some of the glitches within the game, you know, work on that, the loading time of the game. There's a, there's major improvements that that can be made, which is cool though. So I mean, it, it shouldn't really take too long and it's been confirmed that it's going to come out in March. So we have Kingdom Hearts 2.8 coming in January, February, March, and literally like two months after, boom, we're going to get all the Kingdom Hearts games in one disc, which is something everybody has been asking for. And I, I, you know, I was always skeptical about it because, you know, I'm like, I really don't think they're going to do it. We already have all the collection things for the PS3. They're not going to do it for the PS4. I, like, a part of me wanted it, but a part of me, like, had doubts about it. But, hey, they did it, and I have zero complaints whatsoever. That's awesome. Now, of course, the awesome thing about it, if you don't know what you're getting, you're getting Kingdom Hearts 1.5, which, of course, contains the first game. And then you have uh, the cinematic scenes of Kingdom Hearts 3, 5, 8 Days Over 2, which is about Roxas, um... Nominee and Ax uh, Nominee, sorry, Roxas, Shion, and Axel, and their little story. And then you have uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, Rechain of Memories, the card battle system, which is probably arguably the most hated game amongst them just because of the card system. God, I played it once, I don't want to play it again, but it's going to be running at 60 frames per second, so I'm most likely going to do it again. So with this, you're getting uh, two games, one cinematic uh, cutscene thing, basically. And of course, Kingdom Hearts 2.5, which of course contains the Kingdom Hearts 2 game, which is mwah, beautiful. You're going to get, of course, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, that game as well. And you're going to be getting the cutscenes for Kingdom Hearts Recoded. So basically, you're going to be getting four Kingdom Hearts games and two HD scenes. Uh, I, do I wish the HD ones were games? Oh, God, that would have been awesome. But nonetheless, you're still getting a pretty nice package. And the awesome thing about it, too, is that I hear that it's going to be around somewhere, the rumor is, possibly around 50 bucks. So 50 bucks for all this? That's a pretty damn good deal. I mean, 40 would have been a little bit better, seeing as how, I mean, these games are already done. They're just literally remastering them again. Not that we need them, but hey, I'm glad that's all in one disc. So now, now I don't want to hear any excuses saying that, oh, I can buy all these systems to play Kingdom Hearts 3. No, buy a PlayStation 4, play all the games, then you are ready. Then you are ready for Kingdom Hearts 3. So get pumped. So let's talk about the elephant in the room for a second. Uh, what about that Xbox? Because, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 is supposed to be coming out for Xbox One. You know what? I don't know. I'm starting to think that was a mistake. Uh, whoever came up with that idea uh, when they first announced it, I think they were just way too early in the process. I don't think that Kingdom Hearts 3 was ever meant to come out for the Xbox One. But I don't know. I mean, I, I, I feel for those people that have the Xbox One because it's like, it's stupid. Like, you're, you're having the whole set of games in one disc, but you're not putting it on the Xbox One when they're going to get Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean, it's... It's weird. I don't understand why they're not doing that. But like I've said before a million times, the Xbox One is absolute garbage in Japan. They don't make any sales with the Xbox One. If you live in Japan and your parents buy you an Xbox One, your parents must hate you. I can't stress it enough how shit the Xbox One is in Japan. So, I mean, I'm assuming maybe they thought sales wouldn't be great. I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird. It makes me wonder why. I'm starting to think Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't going to come out for the Xbox One later. But we'll have to see and find out. Hey, but if it comes out for the Switch, I'm all for that. 
But guys, I mean, that's basically the news. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and Kingdom Hearts 2.5 coming together in one disc for the PlayStation 4 coming out March, I believe, 28th. I know the US is getting it, and then later Europe is getting it. Not sure about Japan's release date, but that's so exciting. We're getting Kingdom Hearts 2.8 in January. A couple months later, we're gonna get that. And then, boom, Kingdom Hearts 3 is within our grasp. Hopefully, maybe that late 27 release date, or if not, you know, it's probably 2018. It's, I don't know. But guys, that's basically it for this video. So, what do you guys think of this? Are you excited to have all the Kingdom Hearts game in one disc? Do you have an Xbox One? Do you have a PS4? If you don't have a PS4, now is the time to do it. Get all those games, play them beautifully. Uh, there's going to be more information about this. We don't know. If this is going to be, uh, what is it? That new PS4 Pro or whatever, if it's going to be PS4 Pro enabled, I might just get it for the PS4 Pro. You know, like the three chunky layer one, because that thing will increase your graphics even more. So I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this, guys. So guys, leave all your comments below. Are you going to be picking up this Kingdom Hearts 1 HD 1.5 plus 2.5 remix? Uh, let me know below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, guys, I'm going to say... Bye, pal. I'll see you all real soon. <laughs> For the PS4.